Hi guys, it's Holly. So, um, I've never done one of these videos, but today I'm going to do my April favorites and what I've enjoyed so far for the month of April. Um, I have one, two, three different sections, four different sections, but there's not a lot. I will try to go through through this as fast as possible so you don't have to sit and listen to me yak, yak, yak. So, the first thing that I've enjoyed the month of April is Baby Lips by Maybelline. This is sunscreen SPF and it is in quenched, so it's just a clear, just a clear chapstick, lip gloss, whatever you want to call it. Favorite. It's my second one this month already. Um, second thing is the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Perversion. So it's just a black. I don't know if there's a glare. It's just a black. Um, I really like this pencil because the other eyeliners that I've had, I've actually had to like dig them onto my eye just to get the color on this one. As the name says, it just glides right on. So I like that. Um, the next set is the Clean and Clear Advantage 3-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, it ex exfoliates skin, treats pimples, and helps prevent breakouts. Um, so it does have the little beads inside, and I have seen a huge result just using this this month that I have less breakouts. I do have, like, occasionally, like, the big one down here or the one on the side, but it's, like, it's not, like, all at once. They take breaks. And I team it up with the Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer that is oil-free. So this and this together has done wonders on my skin. And before I bought these, I was looking into Proactive. I didn't want to spend, I spent like 12 bucks on both these. So, and a little bit goes a long way. So I would look into these. Next is shampoo. Now, my hair is really thick. So, typically before I switch to these shampoos, second day hair would be completely oily. Um, and I would use dry shampoo or I would just shower and wash my hair. Ev like, wash my hair every day. So, it was lost my screen here for a minute there it is um close that in me I don't know but this is the Dove Hair Therapy Damage Solutions Intensive Repair Conditioner or Shampoo and Conditioner um I do dye my hair a lot so my hair does get damaged but this has really like change the way my hair feels like second even third day um it's reconstructs at the cellular level of hair prevents split ends and breakage so i've seen some difference using this and i've this is my second set my first set maybe about two months month and a half i can go on a bottle bottles of shampoo so i like these products Next is just some dry shampoo that I don't even know why I bought because the shampoo and conditioner have changed my hair, I guess you can say. But on like the third day, there is some oiliness, so I do spruce it up with some Herbal Essence Naked Dry Shampoo, 0% um, paraben and colorant. Natural tapioca instantly absorbs excess oil. And this smells phenomenal. <laughs> so it smells really good. And when I use this, you know, dry shampoo as, you know, does what it's supposed to do. It soaks up that oil and I can go a third day without washing my hair. So, so that is for that. Next is, I 
wasn't a big Triscuit fan. And then one day my husband bought the wrong kind of Triscuits. Like, I just wanted the original. But he bought me roasted garlic Triscuits. And now these are the only ones that I eat. Especially with, um, is it Laughing Cow Cheese? That comes in the little, comes in something about this big. And it has, like, different, tri like, separate triangles in it. Yeah, that with some of these. And they even smell so yummy. Oh, I'm gonna have some after I'm done eating because I don't want, I don't want you guys to watch me stuff my face at Triscuits. Um, the next food and drink in this section is this Sobe Life Water. It's not Life, just it's Sobe Life Water, and this is so much better than that than the actual Life Water itself because. The life water with me seems to just leave like a weird like aftertaste. And so then my husband picked up some of these and I tried it and I was like, oh, that is like so good. Because we've recently are going back on the trying to conceive bandwagon. So we're switching up, you know, how we eat. And I went to the doctor's today and got poked, blood drawn and going to check my insulin levels and they put me back on met metformin that's a whole other video so this is just my april favorite that wasn't a favorite part for today was getting poked but anyway this flavor is blood orange mango and they have like um a kai raspberry aki a koi a c a i a kai bear like a kai and rutland whatever Anyway, blood orange mango. So it's zero calories, vitamin B. It's really good. So we have a whole flavor full in our fridge, like of just different ones. We bought like 20 at Walmart. They were, I mean, they're only a buck. So, so, yeah. So that is for products. Favorite movie this month? I would have to say, it's Frozen. Oh, we love this movie. I love, love, love this movie. This movie is like, I had heard about it and I've seen the previews. And I'm like, when it came out in theaters, I'm like, okay, we're going to go watch it. And then we never did. And then I'm like, and then we had actually rented it on demand and watched it, you know, for our movie night, family movie night. And I was like, oh my God, I have to buy that. So the next day I went out and I bought it. And we watched it like five times in a weekend. It was just either playing in the background, playing in my room so the kids can watch it. But if you have not seen this movie, you have to go watch it. If you have... It's just, like, I get the song stuck in my head because they recently started playing the Let It Go song on the radio. And I just turned that song up and I am singing away. So, I like that one. This is my favorite movie this month. Um, favorite song for the month is... I would have to say uh, Lady Gaga... It's called Guy. It's like, I want to be that G-U-Y. You know that song? That's my favorite song this month. Um, and favorite TV show? Now is it? I want to say old, like, favorite TV show. I really haven't watched any, like, new TV shows that have came out this month. I really just kind of keep track of the ones that I've watched that came back like last night. Like, Revenge came back last night. Drop Dead Diva came back last night. You know, Sons of, no Sons of Anarchy come back in June or September because True Blood comes back either June or September. Anyway, so, but new TV shows. Chris Lee Knows Best. Oh, I just remembered that. Oh my God, that show is like amazingly hilarious. Just how he talks to his kids and in his southern accent. You know, you're not gonna wear be wearing them coochie cutters, and it's oh, and the little boy, his little boy, the youngest one, 
reminds me so much of my kid, of my youngest. Like, it is ridiculous. I laugh and cry because I'm laughing at the show every time I watch it. And I believe it's on Tuesdays. We have it set to DVR, so. Um, I think that's it. Wait, wait, wait. One more. I got a new purse, guys. I got this beauty off of Amazon. And it's like ridiculously huge inside. There's like so much room. So, and I just like, you know, this is another April favorite. Yeah, so. Yeah. So that's another favorite. So, okay. That is it for my April favorites. If you want to see a newer updated version of what's in my bag because I know my one in February got like over 700 views and I saw that and I'm like oh my freaking god that is so amazing you guys are so awesome so in this one since it's bigger I can carry like my Erin Condren life planner that I have in there and you know more in depth of what's in my bag um the coach is away for another day so maybe she's too small so that is it. Um, thumbs up for this video. Video. Thumbs up for the video. Thumbs up for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.